Hello kids, welcome to Blessing Sunday School. We are happy to see you all through this video. How is everyone doing? I hope you all are doing great. I'm sure you all are having a fun time with your family members. How many of you are so excited to be in the presence of God? Let's get started with a word of prayer. Shall we all close your eyes and join your hands? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the beautiful day. Thank you for this wonderful time of worshipping together. Lord, your word says, when two or three gathers in your name, you will be nourished. Holy Spirit, we welcome you, Lord Jesus, among us. We thank you and praise you. Lord, help us to worship you with truth and spirit. And help us to open our hearts and talk to you while we are singing, while we are hearing the story time, and we are hearing the memory verse time. Lord, talk to us, Lord Jesus. Lord, who are watching this video, let them be blessed through this word of God. Lord, we give everything into your mighty hands. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Psalm 16, 11 says, there is always joy in the presence of the Lord. How many of you are feeling joy in your heart? I like the word joy. It's a question time to all of you. Can you all spell the word joy? It's J-O-Y. Can we all say it louder? It's J-O-Y. And we are going to sing a couple of songs that brings joy in our heart. Wherever you are, you can sit, you can stand, you can clap your hands, you can raise your hands. And just we can worship the Lord wherever we are. Just we have to connect our hearts with the Lord. Can we sing the songs? Shall we give a clap offering to the Lord? Yes. When we invite Jesus to our heart, He fills our heart with His love. That gives a joyful life to live. Let's sing this song with joy in our heart. Love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I got the love of Jesus. Love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. I am so happy. So very happy. I got the love of Jesus in my heart. I am so happy. So very happy. I got the love of Jesus in my heart. I got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I got the peace that 
the fastest understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. I am so happy, so very happy. I got the love of Jesus in my heart. I am so happy, so very happy. I got the love of Jesus in my heart. Hello kids, this week memory verse is from Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of the good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Bye kids, think of listening to me. Bye. Hello friends, hope you all enjoyed singing song in the worship time. Now let's get into the Bible story time. Today we are going to learn about a great godly leader called Joshua. How many of you want to become a leader? You want to become just a leader or a godly leader? I can see a lot of hands rising up in the air. Let's get into the story. We have studied all about Moses, the leader of the Israelites. Now we will learn it's a time for God to bring a new leader for his people. God used Moses to lead Israelites out of slavery in Egypt. Remember how God rescued his people when they were stuck as slaves in Egypt? In 40 years of wandering in the wilderness, their clothes did not wear out, nor did their feet swell. God performed many miracles to his servant Moses. Moses was so faithful and he obeyed God. He interceded for the people of Israelites. God opened the Red Sea and showed them where to go. And they also guided them with the pillar of fire at night and a cloud during the day. God also provided them the food and the drink. He brought them quill and manna came each day as food for God's people. You know what? The people of Israel disobeyed God. They grumbled against Moses, they complained and made mistakes. Even though God took care of them very well, best of all he promised God wanted to take them to this new amazing new home called Canaan, the promised land. You know what? The people of Israelites refused to believe God and take possessions of the promised land. They were so afraid and they, want, and they badly wanted to return back to Egypt and to lead a slavery life. That's so sad. But God is so faithful. God wanted to keep his promise all the time even though they were complaining, they were grumbling. God kept his promise and led his people to the promised land. When they were near, Moses sent men to check out Canaan. He sent 12 spies out, one leader from each tribe of Israelites to explore the promised land, the Canaan. And all the spies went into the city of Canaan. At the end of the 40 days, the men returned from checking out the land and reported on what they found to Moses and Aaron and the whole people of Israelites. They said, We went to the land you sent us to. It really does have plenty of milk and honey. It has a lot of fertile land. It looks so amazing. Children, just think about a city that full of chocolates, that full of ice creams, that full of play toys. We all want to go there. But you know what the people said? They also saw some tiny, teeny problem there. They saw some people living there. And they were so powerful. Their cities were high walls and they were very large. The spies also reported the people of the land were so huge like giants. 
and they seemed as small as like cross hoppers friends do you think all of these people would just give up their homeland when israelites came no they are going to be a bit trouble then for them but out of 12 spies only two of them that is joshua and his friend caleb gave some different report of what they have seen joshua was a faithful servant of moses joshua and caleb came back and said it was a land full of good food like milk and honey and fruit just like god had promised and joshua said there were giants living too but god with god's help they can take the land joshua obeyed moses and god when moses was very old god told him to appoint a new leader for the israelites the new leader has to be brave and strong and obedient to god moses chose a new leader joshua he was brave and strong and above all he was obedient to god god was pleased with moses choice and god knew that the new leader would obey him yes my dear friends god always have the best thing for us before we end the story time let's close our eyes if you want to kneel down you can be on your knees let's join our hands and close your eyes and open your hearts and say lord as like joshua and caleb how they chose you how they chose to obey you we want to obey you on all the things that we want to do thank you for this wonderful time of story time today lord help us to be grateful and thankful to you for all the things what you have given us today we see lot of people have lost their lives they lost their the loved ones but you have protected us under the blood of jesus we thank you lord we thank you for all the good things that you have given us and help us not to be like people of islites complaining all the time instead let us be thankful to you in whatever we do and help us to be like a godly leader like joshua we thank you lord we thank you and praise you in jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you dear friends it's a wonderful time sharing the story of bible with you all see you next week and there was a couple of questions coming up you can answer and you can get a high five from your parents Have a blessed week.